Hello, Nick. Congratulations on the win. Uh, maybe you're not not your most uh, intense defensive performance, but the offense seemed to be really humming. The right guys got the right mass up, matchups at the right time. That's what you need out of those five guys. Yeah, I think they continue to um, move it around, Doug, and and exploit what's there. I'm yeah. Pretty happy with the um, drawing of multiple defenders and and then just taking what's there. You know, I thought. Especially, I think, um, you know, Pascal and OG, again, are getting a lot of chances. I really like Pascal made a little adjustment. I thought in the second half he stayed a little more faced up because there was so much traffic when he'd spin dribble. He was he was staying a little bit more faced up, and he was able to get it out or score over the top, you know, just from, from that kind of scenario. So I thought that was a good learning experience for him and, and doing it right in the course of the game. But, yeah, I think, again, they – you know, those five guys just kind of continue to find each other and take what's available. And there seems to be, you know, a pretty even distribution going on right now, which is good. Yeah, is, is that simply a function of the reps you're talking about so often that just more time together to figure that stuff out? Uh, yeah, I think so, Doug. I, again, I just think that um, they seem to do it in, in, you know, just little groups, but but don't seem to overdo it. You know, I think there's some stuff going on and maybe Gary hits a shot and then we seem to go find him a couple times in a row and let him hit a couple buckets in a row and OG gets a couple in, you know, they're 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 kind of they're kind of going to something they see and then but they're not overdoing it and forcing it too often. Um and we're again, we're we're seeing a lot of stuff which is good. We're seeing you know a lot of different defenses and schemes. And we're, we're, we need the repetitions to figure out how we're going to attack those. Great. Thanks very much. Safe trip over Houston. Thanks. Tom. And next we'll go to Eric. Hey, Nick, congrats on the win. Um, how would you assess OG's development sort of operating out of the post? It, it seems to be a look that you go to at least a few times a game, whether it's for a shot or not. How would you assess his decision making? Uh, He's doing yeah. Yeah, he's doing pretty good, Eric. I think he's he's growing for sure. Uh, there's a there's a lot of kind of a lot of little things that go into it. We're really working on him um, just just getting good position right before he even gets the ball. You know, uh, he can he can seal and he can get angles and he can he can get some some deep catches, which obviously is where we want to get it. Um, he's seen a lot of double teams and help and things and. He's doing okay at those, getting better. Um, I think he played pretty quickly on the catch a few times, so he can still drive it. He's got, you know, he's got that reverse layup game. That's always a, that's always a good one to sprinkle in there. Um, and then, you know, he's got enough of a face-up game too. If he can't make any headway towards the lane, he can, you know, hit the step back a little bit. So he's got a lot going on there, a lot of, a lot of things to work on. But it's, I think it's growing. Thanks, pretty, Nick. Pretty good. Thank you. And next we'll go to Aaron Rose. Hey, Nick, congrats on another win. Um, has the way that this group has been playing over this streak made you more excited about tomorrow? Uh, I'm excited every day, Aaron. Oh, you talking about the trade? Trade, uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I have an, yeah, no, I, again, I, um, I, uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of, um, we haven't had much internal talk uh, around here. Um, I, I just, again, I think I'll say this for the 10th time. I, I think for instance, early December, this team has really started showing some, some um, well, playing good basketball on a fairly consistent basis. And um, it's good to see. And that's, that's really, you know, really all I'm, I'm going to worry about is, Whoever we get to the arena for the game, we get ready, get them ready to go, and try to try to keep getting better. Thanks, Nick. Safe travels. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. And next we have Takeshi. Oh, hello, Coach. Congratulations on a great win. Uh, my my question is: This is not really about the Utah Watanabe, but uh, I'd <laughs> like to ask you about. Uh, uh, since I started covering Toronto Raptors just last season, 
I don't really know much about the championship team back in 2019. So what can be some of the similarities between the 20, uh, 2019's championship team and this team? And what should be added to this current team? Well, um, first of all, that team had, you know, a pretty big time defensive element. Not, not only could we pressure and take you out of things, they were very good schematically on a, on a really big menu. Like they could do a lot of different things very well, very quickly, and make a lot of adjustments. And that's, that's um, something special about that team for sure. There was a lot of veteran players. We had, um, you know, two, two bigs with experience that had made deep runs and playoffs before. Um, I don't know to, to talk about the similarities. I mean, this team's starting to starting to figure out of a bunch of variety. I think our menu of what we can do is getting, getting better, getting bigger. I mean, it wasn't a defensive work of art tonight by any stretch of the imagination, but I mean, I'm, I'm realistic enough to know that that happens during the course of a season. We seem to find something to kind of spark us and get us going. Uh, again, tonight, I thought it was some sections of zone and just changing things up a little bit seems to, for whatever reason, get us get us fired up and moving a little bit more for a stretch of five or six minutes. I mean, I'm pretty happy, um, you know, 21 and 26 in the second, third and fourth, excuse me, the third and fourth quarter. Um, it's pretty good. You know, you're not going to, you, you hold the team under 20, 25 in this league in any quarter. It's usually a pretty good defensive quarter.